signs you are close to accessing your higher purpose. So welcome back everyone. I'm Kelsey from On My Way to Happiness where we decode the universe using science of spirituality and I want to help you today decode do I have a higher purpose? What the heck is it? So I personally believe that we all have a higher purpose here. Our soul comes to this earth for a reason. At minimum, whoever you are watching this, your soul definitely came here for a really important reason, whether to help other people, maybe you came to complete a certain mission, finish out a soul contract, maybe your soul came here because you built up a ton of karma in a past life and you're just trying to work it off. You have a reason for being here. And the purpose of this video is to discover if your reason is to do something so much bigger beyond yourself. 10 signs that your soul is here for a bigger, higher purpose that you're on the verge of discovering. So even if you don't relate to these, you're definitely here on purpose. You have so much to give to this world, but this is this video is more for people who are ready to discover their purpose, figure out what it is. So the first thing that shows that you are ready to discover your purpose and your purpose is something bigger to help humanity here is that you always felt sensitive to energies in the room. One time I got like a palm reading from someone and when looking at my palm, the first thing she said was, she's like, you distrust other people. Like you you can't walk in a room and just you're not like the center of attention type who just is the life of the party not that you can't be the life of the party but like your role is more to like enter the room and like watch and like sense the energies feel it out before you start interacting in a way that you are the life of the party you hide in the corner I don't know it depends on the other energies in the room so she's like you have to sense and if someone and for me personally it was like if someone's too extroverted like super super extrovert you shy off of that energy and that was like that is so true first one is you're sensitive to other people's energies you feel like you can read other people's energies really really well and this isn't judgment it's not and they're good and they're bad it's just that you you feel like you can pick up on people's energies their auras just are they like a kind soul are they you know a more complicated soul like you can just pick up on everything about this person and this can be a great gift because it can guide you on who to connect with and who not to connect with the second reason that you might have a higher purpose to help people that you need to discover it is time for you to discover this purpose is that you have felt misunderstood your entire life you've always had different stuff going on up here going on in here that other people just didn't seem to get you feel like you didn't you couldn't connect with them you feel like you have to pretend or be fake maybe you not fake like you're lying but you feel like you can't just be yourself in any particular situation not because you don't love yourself but just because like you don't know how to navigate situations you feel like you often have to like guess what other people are gonna do and it feels really unnatural like i always felt like an adult even as a kid like yeah i don't really feel different than i did at like eight and i look at eight year olds now and i'm like okay there's nothing going on up here but that's not true because when i was eight I had a lot going on. I was very sensitive. I was very like, I just had a lot of like conscious thoughts like an adult does. I don't know how to explain. I didn't have that. I was carefree in moments, but I feel like a lot of kids at that age just seem like reckless, like don't consider any possibilities at all. And I, I was never like that. I was really introspective. I thought about the world in bigger ways than I think other kids did my age. I was really, you know, one of the gifted kids. I was very good at focusing and just like thinking about stuff. So. Um, I, I think, but then I also felt misunderstood. Like I didn't always understand other kids. I felt like as I got older and when I was like in middle school and high school and, you know, I was like, okay, these, why are these kids popular and these kids aren't? And it's like, okay, let me reverse engineer what they're doing. So maybe I could be popular or I could make more friends. Like they seem to have something figured out here that I don't really understand so I'm gonna try to like guess and try to like be like that and try to figure out what these humans do like I kind of felt like an alien 
that didn't really know how to like interact with other people and now I know it's because I this will be the third thing that we talk about is you prefer deep connections we'll just roll right in third thing you prefer deep connections over superficial talk because you need that soul connection you need that soul connection you small talk does nothing for you in fact it feels like a burden because you crave and you might like to be friendly and meet people and that's great and interact with your environment and yeah it's fun to like go to parties and stuff but there's that soul level that you can feel when you meet someone you just connect with or when you know you have a great conversation about the universe or philosophy or just something on your mind and it feels so good to have other people who understand that so if that's you honestly that reason alone is enough to join decode because this group is full of people who are just excited to talk about the universe and share different ideas different things going on in their lives we have so many breakthroughs and just deep conversations about religion philosophy that you just don't get anywhere else because other people are not on the same page as you we go deep and only go deep there's jokes there's laughs but it's deep it's not the small talk you don't have to be a certain way all you have to do is show up as yourself and then you are fully fully welcomed and we just absolutely cannot wait to hear everything that you have to share with us so if you're looking for those deep connections and you're really finding it hard in your everyday life that might be a sign that your soul is here for a bigger purpose your soul isn't just to do the surface level hey how are you oh nice weather you know your soul isn't here for that that's why it doesn't make sense to you because you you are here for something bigger and you can feel it other people who love small talk so if you love small talk and you're watching this it doesn't mean that you don't have a bigger purpose it just means that you you may not realize it yet so this video is for people who have a higher purpose to help other people or do something bigger than themselves and are ready to realize it so if you do love you know those little interactions you might just be a super extrovert you might just be super friendly and you're here to help tons of people and that's awesome and your way is to do it on this earth there's so many nuances in this video i'm trying to keep it short for you guys but it's like there's so many nuances so take what's good leave the rest but if you're a deep conversation type person and small talk is tiring and you don't like meeting new people and you get social anxiety and it's like exhausting and but you love people who love deep diving into these rabbit holes like you will get so much value out of decode and just having this community of like-minded individuals we have so leaned on each other and cheered on each other i share all like the personal things that i'm going through in that group because it is just a new level of healing a fourth thing is that you experience really vivid dreams so that's another reason to know that your soul is really trying to speak to you and get this message across like hey you got to be doing bigger things in this world because it you're you're actually speaking to your subconscious in your dreams i'm not a dream expert but i try to do a lot of work in my dreams because um if you've seen my other videos i'm like i'm a skeptic i know i'm here talking about spirituality but i am like the biggest skeptic and i need proof that stuff works okay so sometimes when i'm trying to do spiritual work in my conscious body my conscious mind is such a burden it is so full of doubt up here doubt which i've like talked about in decode a lot but doubt is my one of my biggest hurdles that i have to face just doubting everything and that skepticism makes me who i am that's why that might be why you're watching this video because i break down the science of spirituality i have that rational thinking mind not just like and then i spoke to this alien and then we jumped on the clouds and those people with those super open channels have their role here and that's amazing if that's you i'm not trying to say like a skeptic is better it doesn't feel better for me but we need both sides we need that check and balance we need people who are just open souls like yes i know this is real because i feel it in my bones but it sounds crazy to everyone else and then we need people to say okay yep does sound crazy you're right about that part let's let's dive in let's check it how can we repeat that experience how do i know that that might be valid how can i also have that experience we like like let's let's gain more rigor into this experience i love it and let's make use of it you know what i'm saying so um it's also really important to be skeptical but if you're too skeptical and have too much doubt it can stop you from having those 
open experiences and talking to the universe and connecting with source or nature or um, you know having those altered consciousness types of meditations when you have too much doubt it can stop you from manifesting because you don't believe anything that's why I do a lot of work in my dreams because I know I don't have that doubt anymore I know my my subconscious is at full license to play because I know my conscious mind knows to back away and say like it's just a dream relax but then my subconscious has full power to go forward and be like yeah it's just a dream but take it real serious okay your vivid dreams is just a sign like you're here to do more and your subconscious is really trying to relay that message to you the fifth sign that you are meant to connect to your higher purpose right now if you are a big dreamer consciously so if you think big visualize differently and view the positives in the world like if you're dedicated to raising your vibration you're hungry for personal development you love learning about spirituality maybe you don't even always know what you believe but you just feel excited opening your mind and learning new information and dreaming of what your life can be and what the world can be that's a sign that you're here to do more because regardless of your current situation it just doesn't matter your soul is coming through and you feel those desires and that excitement and that light and that play that's a sign you're connected to your higher self and so if you're feeling those all the time when you dream about bigger futures and you contemplate different ideas like that's a sign that you are meant to connect to your purpose it's trying to come up through you one reason we have this desire to you know quit our corporate jobs and run our own businesses or whatever is because A corporate job is literally keeping you trapped in the matrix. And if you love your job, that's absolutely okay. I'm not trying to convince you to quit your job. Again, like keep that job if you love it. It's for people who don't love it and don't feel like it's their calling. There's nothing wrong with having a job temporarily or taking a job to pay the bills like that you gotta live you know but then when you have that desire like but i know i can be doing more i know i'm here for a different reason like this job feels so soul sucking because it quite literally is because every moment you put energy into that job it's not fulfilling you so if you're in like absolute survival mode like starving and then you get a job that's fulfilling you're raising your energy level because you're taking care of your family you're taking care of your survival needs yeah it might not be the most aligned activity that you're doing but it's better than like starving on the streets you know but then as you like go up the ladder and let's say you have a decent salary like you're you have some savings you have you're living a life that like you don't feel like you're gonna starve any second like you're a little beyond survival that's when you get to start contemplating like okay how do I gain clarity on this vision I'm thankful for the money coming in I'm thankful for what I've been able to do for my family and myself I'm thankful for these opportunities but I'm really excited to enter a new chapter where I'm doing something for me and I'm doing something where my work absolutely fulfills me if that's you that is a sign you're here for your higher purpose you know you're hungry for growth you want more growth excites you that's like your soul trying to like burst out of your body and tell you all this stuff this is another perfect if this is you like again this is enough reason to join decode i just cannot recommend it enough it's just vibrates at such a high energy it'll open your mind to all the possibilities that you are truly here for you won't be able to be the same person like you literally won't be able to survive in a job because your energy is just going to be like too high like you need to be doing something that matches the energy that you're vibrating at and you can always lower your energy to the matrix levels but you don't want to do that that's why you're watching this because your soul wants you to connect to your purpose now so remember that every moment you don't do your business every moment that you aren't actually Acting on your desires and connecting to your purpose and following your dreams your dreams and your desires are simply a roadmap to your higher purpose so you can't say oh this desire is not noble oh this desire is noble you can't one desire is not better than the other your only job is to follow your desires because it is literally your higher self telling you what you're here on earth to do so if you really want to be like an online coach that's a lot of people who i talk to if you want to be an online coach well every second you don't coach people they're living worse lives the reason you want to be a coach is to help people right you want to transform their lives right if it's a get rich quick it's not going to work for you people will see right through you you're not going to help people you'll feel worse they'll feel worse but if you want to part of the reason you want to coach is yeah to have money 
but more so to help people. You want to transform their lives. You want to share the information that helped you. Then being a coach would be an awesome job. And every second you aren't being a coach, every day you don't put energy towards that, the world is literally missing out on your gifts. You are being selfish by hiding your gifts from the entire world. Follow your desires. You are meant to follow them. Your desires are there and strong for a reason. And by following your desires and not the stories of the shoulds, that's how you help the most people. If you feel this hunger to grow and this hunger to do more, I would highly recommend joining Decode. You will fit right in. That is literally all we do in that group, but it's also a sign that you are here to connect to your higher purpose. Okay, the next thing that you are meant to connect to your higher purpose is you have a really strong intuition. And this can manifest in different ways in your life. So it could manifest as like, I feel like when people think intuition, they think like psychic abilities. So if you feel, if you have a hunch, like, yeah, I predicted some weird shit or like, yeah, I have like deja vu moments where I'm like, I've definitely seen this before. And you feel that like psychicness within you. Maybe you can even like, you consciously are aware you have psychic abilities. Then I would say that's definitely obviously a sign you have high intuition, but high intuition can also just be noticing synchronicities around you. So we always joke in decode that we are like a hive mind because literally we're all in the same vibration all of the time. Someone will post something and everyone's like, yeah, I was just thinking that. Or they'll be like, oh, now I'm seeing that everywhere. Now it's coming up everywhere because we're all plugged into the same hive mind and that's raising our vibration all of the time at like, insane speeds being open to synchronicities and seeing like okay i've been noticing a lot of this thing happening a lot or i've been noticing this weird symbol happening a lot like that's another aspect of your intuition or what we talked about earlier like reading people's energy levels if your intuition is really good at sensing other people's energies then that's another form of your intuition coming to play so your intuition is just like that knowing just that connection you consciously might not know what's going on but in your body like you will feel the connection to all of these different things so if any of those related or something else popped in your mind that you just feel really intuitive about it means you're connected to that timeline to that energy your own thoughts and emotions the energies of other people and instead of having your intuition be this like unconscious process like this thing that sort of makes no sense, I would highly recommend joining Decode so that you can be in the membership and have people guide you and you can have that guidance and mentorship and be like, what the heck does this mean? And how do I transmute this energy into something useful <laughs> in my life so I can live my purpose? The last thing I wanna bring up to discovering what your purpose is, is being drawn to more esoteric topics i want to dive into this a little bit so it doesn't mean like aliens and conspiracy theories per se although you might be interested in those but you find interest in topics that we can't explain and if you're watching this video and you come on my channel like you're you fit <laughs> you fit what i'm trying to say maybe it's like these metaphysical concepts or things about consciousness or dimensions that you don't maybe you don't know what you believe yet but they interest the hell out of you these are the topics that you're like oh my god give me more i literally cannot learn enough because your soul is trying to speak to you through them or if you just really like crystals or like numerology that spiritual stuff even if you really just love deep diving into like finance or you just feel like a hunger to learn more about like all this kinds of stuff that is your soul speaking to you and teaching you and saying this topic is interesting because it's real this topic is interesting because there's a reason you're drawn to it again your desires including your desire to learn is on your heart for a reason and that desire will be there to show you what stuff you should learn about what lights you up this is what lights you up the things you desire and not like results you desire like a mansion whatever but like topics that you're interested in if you're lit up by talking about the or learning about like things that you feel like other people don't talk about, like metaphysical concepts, then this is a sign you're here for a higher purpose because your soul is trying to teach you about these things. This information is available to you. Okay, so there's different levels of consciousness. And if you are at like a low consciousness, like you won't even register that these ideas are being talked about. If you're at a low energy, you just won't even like really pick up that anyone's talking about metaphysics. It's like when you're 
you know a really young kid and you just like are singing along to what's on the radio and then you realize like years later like oh my god that song was really dirty and I can't believe I was chanting at the top of my lungs but you didn't have the awareness or the consciousness to understand what you were saying and then if your consciousness level is a little bit higher you might pick up that someone else is saying it but you'll reject it immediately so you'll just be like oh aliens that can't be real and then move on like you won't even give it the time of day but if you're kind of interested and your mind is opening and you're saying Okay, aliens, that's a little freaky, but I don't know anything about that topic I'm interested to learn. That is a sign that your soul is trying to teach you about these because your desire is a roadmap. So you need to follow all of your desires because they are telling you what you're meant to do. All of them. Every single desire is just a guide. It is your emotional guidance system telling you what you are supposed to do here. These are for you. If you related to all of these or most of them or the ones I pointed out, like then you have to join Decode, then I highly recommend my Decode membership. It is the place to up level your vibrations and reach your soul's higher purpose. You get to form those deep connections you're craving with other like minded individuals. You get a platform to share your ideas. You get a platform to be a part of a community that wants to hear what you have to say. The point of the Decode membership is to be community based, community generated, and community run. We are all as individuals simply like cells in a body of humanity or organs in a body of humanity. Like we each have a different purpose to bring to the table. And when each of us try to do it alone, we can't. We can, maybe to an extent, but we need each other. Think about how actually connected. We are all so connected. We can't do anything on this planet without each other. So why not use that to our strength? Why not join communities that fulfill you instead of just hope the environment around you is going to serve you? Chances are it's not. Most of us are not born into environments with that are fulfilling us in the way that we need to be fulfilled so we need to create our own communities and the online space is absolutely one of the best ways to do that because you have access to everyone in the whole world there is no better investment to make than being in a community of like-minded people who are going to raise your vibration and connect you to your purpose because once you connect to your higher self life is open baby Doors are opening left and right. Opportunities are opening left and right. You attract abundance faster than you ever have before because life is harmonious. It just starts working for you. You're seeing those synchronicities on a whole new level. It's just such a collaborative environment of deep conversations and that's what fuels our soul. And when we connect to our higher self, then we realize the stupid things we're worried about don't matter and we focus on what's important and we do those things and then we grow and expand beyond our wildest dreams. So if you're wondering like, what is my purpose? How do I connect to it? And that's why you watch this video. Maybe these things resonate with you and now you're like, okay, those are so me. It's time to figure out my purpose. I cannot recommend enough. Join Decode. And if you're saying like, okay, well, I want to, but I'm not sure if I can afford it. Well, if you genuinely have to choose decode or eating, like pay your bills, like be responsible, use your own discernment. But again, I can't stress enough. This is going to help you so much more than you think it will. We talk about business. We talk about earning money. This is what's going to help you get to that next level. And I so believe in paying for what you need in your life because you can read all the free stuff online like what's my purpose what's my purpose but until you actually talk to someone and get yourself in that energetic field you just won't know you're just always gonna have a question like am I doing this right and even if you join like a free group or whatever you don't know those people those people have no stake in the game so it could just be anyone but when you join a paid community like it's a group of people who all put that same level of investment in themselves it's this energy it's this transformation this desire for this transformation that creates this massive energy portal to say okay i will hit my goals at all costs i am willing to do what it takes so sign me up connect to your purpose if you need help knowing what your purpose is and you want a group to get you there decode is the answer if you know something else that gets you there that's the answer but don't just sit around and keep doing the things you're doing because the world needs your gifts the world needs your help you watch this video for a reason you have these desires and these questions for a reason follow them 
please give us your gifts. We want you. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited to find people like you. Please like the video if you like figuring out your purpose and you want more videos on how to discern what your purpose specifically is. Watch the other videos on my channel all about the science and spirituality and you guys are awesome. Can't wait to connect. Comment your thoughts below and I will talk to you soon.